everybody welcome to the stream how's it going happy friday as usual it's me ryan um and today i'm drinking tea because i ran out of uh beer and liquor in the house so hey what's up prince welcome to the stream mm, that's hot uh how was your uh how's your friday there um prince oh hey what's up sarah how's it going Ooh, coffee beans. Any any particular ones there, Prince, that you, you ordered? Uh, yeah, Ryan, I, I did say Figma. Um, glad you're here. I was just gonna say, I'm actually doing some, gonna try to do some design work by myself today um, because I was gonna do some coding and then got frustrated coding at work at the in the afternoon. So I figured maybe design would be a little bit more breezy. Ooh, Brooklyn Roastery, nice. Yeah, there's a food share uh, my wife and I are trying to, to get in on here in Philadelphia. And one of the things they have is like a coffee share. So you can get like some some bags from some local roasteries as well, which I thought would be fun. Um, also, I guess before we start, I'll, I'll just do this. Why not? Um, Google Play Store. So one of my coworkers, uh, Rodrigo, is uh, he lives in Brazil. Great guy. And he's, he's a big coffee fan, just like myself. And so he suggested this app to the team whoop, the other day. So Prince, I don't know if you have an iPhone or an Android phone. Uh, not sure if there's an iPhone version. I'm sure there's a, another coffee app out there, but oh yeah, it's a great little app. It's sort of like has all the different ways you can make coffee and then it walks you through the recipes, uh, has some timers and stuff gives you like, you know, how much water to how much ground coffee. Um, I don't um, currently weigh the water versus the coffee, but maybe maybe I'll start. But yeah, this fun little way to start your day. So uh, cool. And uh, actually we've talked about this at work, not just because we all love coffee, but because the design, particularly some of the illustrations that they have. Uh, let's see. Um, so these illustrations are actually animated now, which looks really cool. Gives you this really good sense of like the fun that you're having with the app. It also makes it feel a little bit more official. Um, so along those lines, I wanna do some design. We're gonna work in Figma today. So let's just go over to our Figma space. And Ryan Warner Coates was on the stream last week. We were working on ryanharris.dev v2 as I'm calling it. Let me reorganize some of this stuff here real quick. So these images you see are just some reference material that uh, Ryan and I were using. But what we're particularly working on was redesigning my website because in my mind, it doesn't look that great currently. So this is sort of where we've landed now. Um, and this is just a screenshot of like a YouTube video feed. And so what I need to do here is I actually need to build out some components. Um, Ryan taught us how to do that last time. And then like continue the layout so I can get towards building. Um, so this is, this is sort of what we had. And then over here are some ideas that we were just throwing around in terms of what it would look like when I'm live on Twitch. I have a NPM package that I need to update very quickly because the Twitch API is changing. Um, I need to add a serverless component, but the idea is essentially that you can embed yourself or your stream at, you just put a react component on your page in your application. And if you're live, it will render an iframe with you, you streaming. So, so we were playing around with a couple ideas just for fun. Um, and then also something else I wanted to do and have been meaning to do is that my OG images, which currently look like this. Look pretty good, right? When you have the right, uh, hey, what's up, Marcus? Welcome to the stream. Um, yeah, I think these look pretty good when you have the right amount of tags, but let's go to Firefox real quick. Let me pull up twitter.com. We'll go to my page. And let's look. So earlier today, I was tweeting some stuff. Let's see. Uh, it's in tweets and replies. Okay. So a friend of mine had a question. Guy I used to work with. Great guy named Mac. Brian McElaney here. Um, 
He was asking about streaming stuff, so I shared a couple articles with him. And as you can tell, this OG image here and here looks terrible. And it's because these are articles I wrote before I created the OG images. So I wasn't accounting for this many tags. Currently on my blog, I think three is usually what I put for new posts, but these have like five. So I wanna change that because initially I had tried to write align this text so that whatever this edge of the text over here is would sit here and it would all fit in this empty space. But apparently I did that wrong. So I'm considering actually flipping this and putting putting our text over to the left and putting our social media stuff to the right. And also some of these colors that I've been using um, are no longer really the palette that I'm working with elsewhere. We have my stream overlay, as you can see on the stream, but also here in Figma, we're using a lot of this blue and this pink and this mixer, which I thought I renamed. Let's close that. Yeah, Twitch. So this is what I have for my standby cards. That's when the stream starts, the stream ends. So I wanna update those as well. So let's start here with the OG image and the actual implementation of putting this into my code for my Gatsby site and stuff, I'll just do that off stream. Um, I should get GM key laser keycaps. Do you wanna drop a link there, Ryan Warnercoats? I do really want a mechanical keyboard, I'm not gonna lie, very much. But every time I look at them and realize how much they are, I don't feel like I can justify it, but oh wow, these are super cool. Uh, yeah, I can, I can see why they're dope looking. Like when you get them from drop, they're probably like relatively reasonable, but secondhand, it's probably insane. Mm. I don't have the purple, but these two shades of purple actually work pretty nice. Maybe this shade behind the pink is a good shade for the background color of my site. I mean, we'll see. Okay, so first thing I wanna do here is, and my, my Figma, these Figma, uh, docs that I have for some of the smaller assets are not super well organized, but uh, the RyanHarris.dev redesign stuff is because Ryan Warner was teaching us how to how to do that. Um, so we'll do some more of that organization stuff in the future. Let's see. So this is seventy pixels in. So it's four forty one. I wanna go back like 70 pixels as well. I wish there was a way to like, just do that evenly. 1215 out of 1280, so 12, so it should be 1210, I think. Yeah. If we want it exactly the same. Yeah, okay, cool. So first thought, let's just try to see how this looks. Where are these? Yep. Ah, and this is a neat little trick that we learned from Ryan Warner as well. Auto fit. So you can see I have this text in here, but the bounding box is too big. <clears throat> Excuse me. So just hit this, auto fit. And now when we come back to it, it's actually the size that it should be. And I think I have this locked. Yep. So that's locked. So we want to move this over here. We want to make this left align text. And then we wanna bring this down here. Then take away the rulers. Put them closer to each other so we can get a little investigation. And this is where it'd really be nice for me to have some um, polls in chat. But if anybody has any preferences or think one looks better than the other, you know, I'm happy to entertain suggestions. So here, what I have is I actually have the edge a little off. It's not even in terms of the edge with the social media. And the social media is because I wanted to align it with my avatar. But if we align this more like that, how does that look? So personally, I sort of like here how the gray offsets this black. This is black and black. 
but we can actually take some inspiration here maybe and use these colors because I, I one thing we should try to do is before we even play around with this too much so I actually want to update the colors to sort of match what I have in my OBS stream. Sorry about this scaling. So the background here, let's see. So the background is this color. So let's go into our OG image. Let's try that here. Okay. So the text is obviously gonna need to change colors. So let's try that real quick. Let's auto fit. And let's make this white. 100% opacity. And we can change the opacity and stuff. I'm just I'm just playing around right now to, to get a sense of what this might look like if it was more in our branding colors. And this bounding box, actually, we don't want to auto fit. Um, there's an article by Jason Langstorff on his site about how to create these images and sort of lay them out so they're flexible. So like most of my content doesn't have like super long titles, but imagine you had a series with some sub articles and you wanted to have a longer title or have them on different lines, you need to leave the space for that to happen for the generation in Cloudinary. So let's go ahead, go to our social stuff. So we actually want the Twitter icon and the, this both need to be white. Yep. So that was everything. Okay, cool. Um, I think one thing that we should do here is change also the color of this this border and the overlay in the back. I think that will bring it more in line with our colors. So I think another thing we learned from Ryan, I'm gonna do this real quick, is to create like this little like color palette. So let's go back here. Let's figure out what color this is, this border. Go back to our OG image, we'll fill this in. And then we'll do the same, we'll duplicate it, and we'll do it with the blue. Hey James, you're not too late. I just started about 10, 15 minutes ago. We're just uh, doing a little bit of design today. I'm trying to bring my sort of like site, media assets, all that stuff back in in line with one another since they've been diverging pretty quickly. Um, so the first thing I wanna do here is maybe we copy this and we try it both with the two different colors, just like first off. So let's try it with the pink. Cool. Oh, that was the fill, sorry. Okay, repaste that. This is actually the border. Where is my border? Did I actually do a rectangle? I might have. Yes, I did. Cool. I already like that a lot better. I don't like this orange. Yeah, yeah, James, we're in Figma. Um, my preferred design tool. I had. I also have, I bought Affinity Photo recently, which I have not used, which is like a Photoshop alternative because it was on sale for like $25. I was reading it does 90, 95% of Photoshop stuff, but I spend most of my time here in Figma just because I don't really do too much other than like mocking layouts or uh, small things like this. Okay, so here, so these are good. 
now we have the rectangle. We have the background color. Let's see what that is. Okay. Now what is this color here? So I think we have this fill, which we don't need. Okay. And then the mass group. I think this is our little texture. It sure is. So we want to change that as well. Let's try also the pink. I like that a lot better than the orange, like a significant amount better. I really, I don't know why it is. This pink, I really like it. Oh yeah, Marcus, yeah, happy to answer. Um, yes, it is a mass group. And if I remember correctly, I had to look this up myself and I forget how I did it. There's a way to go into like a mask mode. It might be because I have it locked. Uh, what did I do here? This is a very good question. Oh yeah, okay. So I have essentially like, I, I built a panel out of these. Uh... Oh, thanks Ryan, I appreciate that. Um, so Marcus, this, this, is, this group here, circuits, is essentially tiles of this SVG, the circuit board pattern. And so what I did is I made a group of those and then I made a radial mask on top of it, which is how I'm getting sort of, or actually it's a rectangular blur, I'm sorry. Yeah, linear. So if we go here, that this is being used as the transparency in the mask. So off the frame, all of this stuff is um, fully, it's like 100% opacity. But as we come down towards this end, it goes to zero. So you get this nice little like fade effect. It's like a little Photoshop trick I picked up back in the day, but I had to look up how to do it in Figma because this is a bit of a different working environment. Yeah. Vertically centering your phone. Yeah, Ryan, I, the only reason I have this off center is because uh, like I mentioned before, James or um, not James, Jason Langstorff has an article about laying out your OG image but I personally would like it to be centered. Um, I think there's more work to do with the layout in general. So open to suggestions. Right now, I'm just gonna try also doing a little bit of what we did um, with the pink one. I just wanna try it with the blue and then maybe we'll even try a combination of the two. Uh, which rectangle did I just change? Ah, the wrong one. Yep, should probably start naming these. Cool. I mean, I, I'd take either of those over what I have now for sure, for sure. Um, and then let me just try, uh, let's try two different iterations of this. And this is this is definitely the beauty of a program like this, like Figma. I can just throw ideas at the wall until I find something that looks okay. And then what I usually do is I say, hey, Ryan Warner, um, I think this looks okay. Can you tell me why it doesn't? And then he has suggestions that make it look better. Yeah. Uh, yes, this is a blue and this is a pinkish. So here, and this guy, this little guy, let's try doing the other of our colors. So a blue. And then here, we can try. Dr. Polish. I'm Polish, so I read that as Dr. Polish to start. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'm sort of digging the vibe, honestly. Um, I'm, I'm digging the vibe, actually. I prefer to have the border and the um, circuit board to be the same color. Um, 
Anyone in chat disagree? Let's see. I sort of want to bring this out a little bit. 75. Sort of like that. I didn't want the the thing with the the layout before was the orange when it spilled over the text too much was uh, very much uh, distracting. This I feel like because the white stands out so prominently from the background. Uh, Got to imagine this color contrast is high, but we'll check that. We have a plugin. Um, because it's high, I don't think the I think the background bleeds away. Um, cool. Okay, and now, so I think the, I honestly prefer this pink. I don't know why I'm so taken by it, but I do really like how it looks. It's just very striking. But I have to raise the opacity on that. Compared to the blue, the blue seems like at a 75%, I can see much more of it, whereas here I can't. All right, so let's take this, let's paste that. Let's sort of start, so we've sort of iterated on colors now. Now let's start looking at some layout stuff. So the first thing I wanna try, like I said, is I do want to try flipping these two. Uh, yeah, I mean, James, it takes me forever to create uh, asset, like any design assets, because I go, th like, even if I like it when I start, by the time I get most of the way through, I hate it. I'm not really, I don't consider myself in any way a designer. I'm someone who every once in a while does a mock or creates, like, little things like this. Uh, no, that's not what I want to do. Thank you. No, stop going into the other lock. Yeah, I'm not, I like, I'm, I can tell you what I like and what I don't like, but can I necessarily tell you why? No. Like I went to film school, so aesthetics is a thing I'm used to talking about in that context and can talk about it all day long. <laughs> but when it comes to design, it's like just not my wheelhouse yet. I'm, I think I'm getting better, hopefully. So the reason I'm using this title, if I remember correctly, is because at the time, and probably still today, this is the longest title that I had on my site. I still prefer this layout with the uh, hashtags on the right, but that's just if we stick to this. So let's, let's actually start like, let's throw something more dramatic in the mix. Um, this is rotated. So we'll stick that straight up and down instead. And then let's get rid of the title for a second. 
So that's the center of the document. And I keep getting the mask group, which I'm just gonna lock. Get the title. And so Ryan Warner Codes, if you're still in the chat, this is a perfect question for you. This is how Jason Langsdorf suggested to do it, where you bottom align your text and give it a big space in case the title's too long. However, if you want to vertically center this, how would we go about laying this out in Figma to sort of give us an idea of like what we can, it'll look like after being processed in Cloudinary? So I'm going to just do, oh, sorry about that. So I want to do actual size. Well, so uh, Jason suggested that you so have your text sit in a larger bounding box and you, you basically get it positioned here. And then if the title were to be longer, it would be taking up the content above instead of below. Because if you had it here and you flip that and then it got long, like it could become off balance on the bottom. So how, what's the best way to try to balance this? Do we have to manually try to keep our titles relatively reasonable in length? Or is there a strategy here that maybe the Cloudinary API supports, maybe Jason Langstorff's library supports, not sure. But we can, we can actually worry about that later. I'm just gonna right now lay it out let's just lay it out and then i'll worry about the technical implementation later yeah i'll have to look at the docs this you know not we can uh forego that for now Ooh. so Let's see, side by side as usual. So I like already how much better this looks. I think that's easier to read, less lines, not as um, compacted upon itself. I'm not too sure what I think about this. Maybe, you know, maybe we bring it to the other side. We switch. So let's bring. Maybe I stand out better on this side. I definitely do, I think. Okay. Could also try something where we Also would like to get in. Okay, rulers, goodbye. So this social. Maybe what we do is we stack these. Then we take this social. Hey, what's up, Dan? You could try, yeah, definitely. I'm just, I'm trying to play around with this. Ideally, cause I don't remember, I remember when I tried to look it up in Jason's uh, OG image creation package, trying to get this right aligned was, I, I don't think there was an option for that. He might've updated it since, and there might be a way to just hijack sort of the URL that we're send, using in Cloudinary, but, Maybe we should just assume for the sake of ease here that we want to align this on the left side of the screen. And maybe we don't want to put anything near it so that if there's too many tags, it just doesn't override it. So we had it here originally and my face was somewhere around here. We can fine tune that. But then we can do something like this 
So I think we're 70 away from the edge over here. So let's do the same. Cool. So I feel like it looks almost a little off balance. Let's try. I've seen a couple things. Um, a couple people do just the, the hashtags right below their uh, article title. So we can try that as well. Let's get this. And I think it actually works okay. Um, one thing Ryan Warner and I have talked about a lot as he's been sort of like giving me more tips on design is the idea of building this hierarchy between text. And that can be done through different fonts, different weights, different colors, different sizes, different kerning. I mean, all sorts of stuff. Don't forget to mock it with a one and three line title. Oh yeah, I definitely need to. Yeah, and Dan, that was something I was talking about with Ryan earlier. Um, Jason Langstorff has an article on this and his suggestion is you lay it out. Let's see. You lay it out so that the text is in a bounding box that's much bigger and you line it, you sort of do your design assuming it's gonna sit on this bottom line and that it will grow vertically. So I wanna mock it to see how it looks for sure because it, I don't want it to look terrible. I already sort of like this a lot, but this is a lot simpler. This reminds me of our friend Joseph, Joseph Eight. If we go to his, Joseph Eight. Let's see, where's Joseph's website? There it is. So, there's our friend Joseph. Where is his Twitter? Oh, he doesn't have it on here, okay. That's, what is what is his handle again? Um, Velt, something like that. I don't know, we'll find out later. But he had, his, his uh, OG image is very nice. I like it quite a bit. Yeah, it's too bad he doesn't have a link to his Twitter on here. He's got his GitHub, LinkedIn. Nope, too bad. Uh, yes, OFAX, yes, definitely. Um, so site, my site is built in with Gatsby, it's hosted on Netlify. I work at a company called Fauna, which is a, a serverless Jamstack database. So yeah, I spend, basically it's all, all Jamstack all day. Yes, thank you, Marcus. Let's see, I know, there we go. So his open graph image, I like. It's like very simple, but I like it because it, it doesn't, like you can tell he has multiple tags here and it doesn't go off the screen like mine did. So, um, but I, yeah, I like, I think he did the same thing. This is laid out on the bottom line. And if this title was double, it would just be, you'd have two lines up here. Okay. So, and like, we might not even need to put my picture on here. We can try that as an iteration too. Here, in this case, I don't like having these stacked. And we can select these two items. This button right here will align the vertical centers. And we can also do something like distribute horizontal spacing evenly. If we had three things, that would be even better. Um, and there's a way, let's see if I can remember. Odd, add auto layout. This is something I learned last week on my own stream from Ryan. And so now we have these two items that were, they're in a group, but now they make up what's called a frame. 
And as you can see here, there's 102. This is spacing between those two items. And now we can much more easily yeah, dial in what we like. Yeah, this could go over here, could go over here. Let's do it here and then we can try another iteration over there. Let's do 40. So that looks a little too far, in my opinion. So let's shrink it. Looks a little bit better. I already think that looks a lot better. And that's, that's what I'm sort of like learning on these design streams is that just like this, throwing it, throwing ideas around, seeing what happens, the experimentation, which is why this is such a great program to be using. You know, these design tools we have these days are very flexible. And the fact that I can just throw them around, like we can also see our progression a little bit. If we look in our ryanharris.dev real quick, uh, Ryan Warner Codes does has, he uses different pages within the document. And so like, here's where we're doing work. And then there's assets, you know, we have an inspiration doc that just has some screenshots we took of things we wanted to draw upon uh, for inspiration. And he also likes to use what he calls an archive. And it's almost like a, what he calls like git commit in Figma, which I think is a fun way to think of it as if these are commits on a branch. And you can see the evolution of our designs and sort of like over over different streams, over conversations we've had as it's evolved. OFAX, I haven't looked at Gatsby recipes at all, to be honest. Uh, besides my personal site being on Gatsby, I don't use Gatsby pretty much at all these days. I spend most of my time writing uh, just React in a Create React app that I support at work, as well as some uh, Node CLI, some SDKs for JavaScript drivers, that type of stuff. But yeah, Gatsby, I mean, it's cool. I know, like, I like Gatsby personally using it. I know some people that have larger sites, more articles, more assets, their build times take a long time, but now they just released this incremental build. So my understanding of that is it sort of diffs what's there, what's changed, and then only does the compilation build for the new stuff. So if we were to go, let me take these rulers off. So let's take this one a step further. And so here, I think that what we have is, I think this is a little too close to the edge. And so what I'm doing here, I'll, I'll try to describe more my uh, keyboard shortcuts as I'm using them. And maybe next time I do this stream, I'll get, uh, there are some plugins or uh, stream tools that will show you the hotkeys on screen as I'm hitting them. But when I'm selected on this layer, if I hold option, it shows me like how far it is from the edges of other elements. And so here we're looking at how far we are from the edge of the frame. I think that looks okay. Right. Let's get rid of the cruft. And then these two things, the title and the tags in this case now have become a group in my opinion. And that should be vertically centered. And this can come 90 as well yeah marcus uh talk a little bit of more more about that how so uh i know like the serverless framework has a concept of what they call components which i believe are like reusable pieces of i guess configuration code that allows you to deploy resources that somebody has built out a system distributed systems layout whatever it may be you know different services in aws but you can sort of like whip up 
uh, self-contained component that people can easily use in their configurations. Um, so here, one other thing I would like to try, and this might be overkill in terms of how much white we're using, but would it be crazy for us to have a little accent of white? Maybe a six pixel border. You know, we could do that, make it real extreme. So with Terraform, you basically describe what your infrastructure looks like, name it, link things together and such. Yeah, in a YAML file, right? Yeah, and that like, sir, I think the serverless components is like basically you could create a YAML file that sets up infrastructure and then someone else could use it in their YAML file in the components field. And essentially it'll take whatever that person had created and scaffold that out for you and you don't need to add that yourself. James, I was thinking we could just cover my entire face and then everybody would be happier, I think, with the, with the design here, so. Um, and one thing I wanna do here, I actually think that these aren't different enough, um, the, the header text and the tag text. And I think that we need to potentially either make this smaller, make it less opaque, make it lighter. So there's no regular. And one thing we might want to do here too, instead of having to keep NPM yarn installing things for every project, it has some work to do, but still it's pretty well done. Oh, cool. Yeah, uh, James, it sure is. Um, so I'm thinking like, here's a little detail I didn't think of. I'm in all of, or at least my stream overlay stuff and on my new site design, my preferred font has been railway. And let's actually go to the site. Let's go to the main. So this is railway. Oh, that's Roboto. This is railway. Let's open Sans. I guess I'm only using railway in my stream overlay. That's interesting. So that's something to think about too. Like Roboto, Roboto, Roboto. So open Sans and Roboto is what we have. So. What if we do open sans, Roboto. So one thing I already need to adjust, I think this font size is now maybe too big, but it might just be because of this, this title. So let's hold on a second. I'm getting ahead of myself. Bring in the railway. Um, there, I don't know how many of you were Stephen Colbert fans back in the day when he was doing um, the Colbert Report, but one of his segments was called Yahweh or No Way. And it was like a religious oriented segment that uh, was always funny, but I just, the way he introed it with the Yahweh or No Way and the graphics they had was just uh, comical, you know, as you might expect. Uh, you wanna see the, the railway? Oh, there, Ryan. So railway, railway look, looks like that. I actually like it. The only thing I would say is I maybe would increase the letter spacing. Oh, for the blog, you want to see it in the blog. So for the blog, let's just copy this right here. So maybe, maybe all of this would be railway you're saying maybe these would be railway too yeah no I do too it looks really cool I actually like it more than the Roboto so what if we were to do oh yeah so text style railway Yeah, I think it looks pretty good. I mean, I like that font personally a lot, at least for this, like even, you know, as I'm going through the site more, maybe we can talk about different fonts, but if we go roll with railway here, cause the uh, having fun with Figma logo here, which we can actually look at, this is railway. And then this is also railway. 
So I'm already using it. I like it. Let's stick with it. And then this, I don't know if we need a different font and maybe railway is fine. Maybe it looks too similar and we need to differentiate, create that hierarchy. What if we went back to Roboto? I sort of like that it's different because I think the railway to railway is no way to go. Yeah, so, and then the open, open sands. I, I sort of like the Roboto. Yeah, I like that. And then I think these are actually, these are aerial, so we gotta change these. What about a monospace, yeah. What's, uh, what would be a good monospace font there, Ryan? Monospace. Is Verdana one? Yeah, Marcus, definitely. I, and that's what I'm gonna do is this is gonna be different because when you when you have it as the same, it just looks too similar. Not enough differentiation. So let's go here and let's uh, go to Google Fonts. What is it, fonts.google or Google slash fonts? Font properties, boo, boo, boo. categories, monospace. We have an exclusive and a preview of Sabai's latest, but here, let's bring them on. Roboto Mono, that makes sense. First off, I would like to thank every one of you for your support of Moon Base. I'm so happy that a lot of you guys like it. And today, I'm happy to be here. Let's try that to start, because we do like Roboto. I like how it looks like code. Yeah, uh, James, I think that's what um, Wes Boss used for a while too as his like VS Code font, or I think at the time it was Sublime Text because this was a couple years back. That's strange, Ryan. You can't see, um, you actually can't see the, the distance between two elements inside of a frame for some reason. Also, give me one second. My uh, dog wants to come in. Hold on. Sorry about that. Little Banj man had to come in. Banjo, you wanna, you wanna say hi? Wanna say hi to everybody? Come here. Uh, look right there. Yeah! This is uh, Banjo. Okay, Bubba. No, okay. <laughs> oh, little Banj, yeah. Arr. It's a little hound dog. A little pit mix, we think. We're not really sure, but. He was sitting outside the door trying to get in. Um, so yeah, I personally, maybe this needs to come down. 24, that's too small, I think. Right? Nobody wants to see it that small. Is there like a 28? Hey, what's up, Joseph? I was actually just looking at your site and your LinkedIn and your open graph image, because I was, I know I like how you have it laid out, so I was uh, using it for reference. So, I think that might be too far. This is definitely too tight. I don't know if I like it like closer or further. Yeah, no, yours I yours definitely looks like Jason's example. Mine I made look different, but now I feel like I'm coming back towards that a bit. So which is not a bad thing cuz I I think that essentially we're trying to fix this issue, Joseph. So this is an old post has too many tags. Whereas like, if you look at my, you know, my later, my newer posts, um, 
It looks right. It's just because I didn't add as many tags to the front matter. I'm sort of cool with that. I don't know if I like this here. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. So what else could we potentially do here? Oh yeah, I also want to try, again, I'll sort of pull this over here. So we see our little evolution. I do want to try moving this and this and like flipping them. So vertically center it. Something like that. How does that look? So again, ooh, looks like the text is under the mass group, which is not what we want. Okay, cool. So I sort of like it on the other side. I do have a concern that that's gonna be hard to position. Uh, or like position this font. But I guess there is a way to control the width um, within Cloudinary's um, API and more specifically J the package that Jason wrote. So that should help us with that a bit. Okay, undo that. So yeah, every, anybody in the chat, like uh, any of these speaking to you particularly, we, we have, you know, they're very subtle differences, but I think it's these two here are, we're making progress. We're going in the right direction. Okay, let's copy that as well. Bring it down here. Not titled photo. Do you mean I should be adding, um... oh, you like it without the tilted? Okay, cool. I thought you said titled. Yeah, yeah, yep. My reading skills at work. Yeah, on the left, I sort of do too. Like sometimes I'm like, ooh, maybe it looks too much like all the other ones I see, but maybe that's the point. Or maybe there's a reason that a lot of people's images look similar because they're effective. Right here. This seems, okay, so this seems like the one folks like, so let's go with that. I do still wanna, I just wanna play, mess around with, um, actually, do I? I don't know, maybe that's good. Maybe we call it, we just call it that. Oh, thanks, Marcus. Yeah, thanks, Dan. Ryan Warner Codes. What do you think? You wanna, you wanna weigh in with the design expertise? I think one thing we do need to do though is these are a different font than both of the others, so we need to lean in to one of them. I think it either needs to be the railway, which might be too distracting, or maybe it's not that it's distracting. Maybe it just needs to be a little bigger. Yeah, I think that's sort of where we landed, Ryan. I think the, the chat agrees. I do too, actually. Um, and right now I'm just thinking that these uh, social media, the social media info needs to be one of these two fonts. I think that three fonts is not necessary. So let's try it with the railway. Let's also try it with
And I know I've, I've said it on a lot of my streams, so maybe just I should just stream doing this, but I, I do feel like I need a, um, I feel like I need a uh, poll mechanism in the chat. Yeah, I th honestly, like, that's sort of how I went with, um, when I was in the film industry, I did some animation type stuff in After Effects, and I, same thing, it was like, I would pick one font I liked as like the display, sort of like, hey, look at me font, and then I'd pick a font for copy type stuff, and that was it, wouldn't even look at them again. Let's see, Roboto Mono. Uh, thanks, Marcus, I appreciate it. Also, thanks for uh, chiming in on, on Twitter. Uh, Dan Marcus was one of the folks on Twitter who uh, weighed in with his thoughts on form validation libraries. So uh, we have some good ones to look at, and I'm, I'm excited to, to look at them. Let's see. Roboto. Mono. Whoa, what is going on there? Um, so I find that the Roboto Mono is easier to read, but maybe what we should do up here is actually increase the font size. That's too big. 28, like, is that a real font size? <laughs> Fifteen pixels. Fifteen. Fifteen. What I want to do here is I'm actually going to take these two. Vertical align. Take these two. Vertical align. And then I'm going to align them with each other. Vertical align. Cool. So what do y'all think? Um, any takers for the railway on the top? Railway, Roboto. Just sitting back trying to look at it, you know. You get deep into the pixels and then looking at it from the wide angle, it's hard to tell. You like the bottom? Yeah, I do too. And you know what? This one also could be a product of, you know, maybe this just, it could be the same font, but maybe it needs some, where's the kerning? Ooh, ligature is horizontal, so cool. Where is that? Is it letter spacing? Yeah, there we go. Maybe even if you just bump that up. The one thing that I do think is good about the mono space font, unfortunately my Twitter handle does have uh, not uh, like special characters in it. The URL has a dot, of course, but these underscores definitely like as you can see with the spacing, this looks much space more spaced out than this one does. So I, th I yeah, Dan, that's I think I think the mono like because unfortunately the actual characters in the strings that we're using, I think it might be better. This I I like the railway font personally, but this is too tight. This breathes better, but I also feel like maybe these things can be spaced out now. So let's again sort of like go off of this one. Let's start playing around with this because maybe maybe this needs more spacing from the, the text needs more spacing from the icon. Maybe the icons themselves or the whole social media John, as we say here in Philadelphia, should be over here. Um, just in case. 
This is a I'll drop this in the chat because I know Ryan Warner Coates knows what I'm talking about, but uh, I know a lot of you folks are not in Philly. And Dan, I know you're from Australia. This, I don't know if you've heard this. You might have heard me say it. Um, definitely like between these two. Definitely like the right align. What if we bring this down? It's too bad I don't have my uh, DSLR set up yet as my webcam. My friend borrowed it before the pandemic, so I've got to wait to get it back. But once that happens, I'm going to hook it up as my webcam. It's going to be my primary one. Visual Im image quality will be much better. And then this webcam you're seeing right now, I'm going to strap to the side of my desk so you can have a banjo cam. Because right now, banjo is curled up like a little cinnamon roll. Um, can I use John in context? Like, uh, how do you see that John down the street? That could be whatever. Car accident. Oh, I love those Johns. Somebody saying, hey, I, you know, I like this food. I like this candy. Oh, I love that John. Hey, I love The Office. It's a cool show. Ah, that's my John. So these, this whole thing would need to be, because that's visually... It's like centered, but it does not look centered. And it also looks out of line with this. So I'm definitely, that's that's a no-go in my mind. But do we want to do, what if we do something like, I guess we don't need to do that. Hmm. So this is, this looks, I sort of like it spread out a little bit. I still think this is my favorite. I sort of like this spread out here, but I think what's throwing me off is that the icon on the left here is, and the left here is sort of like skewing the weight to the left, even though they're evenly distributed. Uh, across the horizontal space. So I'm gonna do another one. And what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna flip this and move the icon for, for the website. Where is that? Firefox, okay. So let's actually, oh. So we want it to be 15 pixels. And then we want this to be, this entire container to be 70 pixels from the edge. I definitely like that better than this. Feels much more weighted. And I'll just bring it under so we can see it side by side since there's more vertical space here. Any uh, any votes from the chat? This doesn't bother. Actually, this doesn't bother me as much as it did before we went with this iteration. This might be a bit confusing. This is more consistent. Also, another iteration that we have not tried yet. We sort of played around with it at the beginning. Right here, yeah. It's, I still think this is my. It's the plainest one, most straightforward, and I still. It's probably the one I'm going to end up going with. So we did that, which we did not really like, but so this can go over here. Yeah, the top one, yeah, I agree. That's sort of where I'm leaning right now. I'm just gonna try one more 
thing and then if that doesn't look good i think we'll stick with that one and then maybe we'll jump over to the site for for a little bit and try to lay out that video section because i can hook this all up off stream everybody can see it on twitter check out the articles also i'll probably go back and get rid of the some of the extraneous tags that i have in my old articles front matter because i don't think it really helps and i have much more content now that uses only three tags seems to be fine uh, okay social so the other thing i was thinking here is that we and i want to actually un auto layout this which is not something oh there we go remove auto layout frame i don't think it needs a frame i think it just goes right in here I think this frame just gets deleted. Oh. Yeah, that, that's right. So what I wanna do, I, I don't know what, I think the website needs to go on top cause it's a little bit shorter. Like it sort of creates like a pyramid effect. I don't know, I'm wrong. Okay, cool. We'll actually put the Twitter on top, which I think actually is, Sort of, I prefer anyway. And so, excuse me, what I'm doing here, I'm not using my mouse. I have this, this uh, element selected and I'm using the arrow keys to move around. And if you hold shift, it goes 10 pixels at a time instead of one. And then here, what I'm doing is I'm holding command and scrolling on my mouse and it zooms us in. So I sort of like that. They're, I think they actually should be a little tighter. 16 pixels, let's try 12. So what do y'all think? Do you like this one here? And these, maybe these are too tight, like, and then 12, we could try like 16. So we got this. Let's bring it side by side with the one that, the other one we like. So we copy and paste this, bring it down here. Yeah, yeah, go for it, Dan. Thanks for hanging out. Have fun um, playing Portal. And also have a good weekend. Bye. See you on Monday. Okay. So the only other thing I want to try, I'm still, I still think the one that chat seems to like the most, that's, I, I think that's my favorite as well. The only other thing I wanted to try was what happens if we move this over here? I feel like it's going to be too cluttered on the left regardless. So, uh, Twitter. Okay. Social. If we were to like align it here. Yeah, it's too much. What is going on? Oh, something weird happened. Okay, cool. Sorry, everybody. Hope you didn't lose too much image. Basically, what I think happened is that I have, I think my phone died and it was plugged in as my remote control for Streamlabs, so sorry about that. Okay, cool. So I think we're gonna, I think this is the one. 
So I'm gonna bring this one up here. And we'll just, that'll be what I reference when I come back later and create the actual images. So thanks for hanging out and checking that out. I think that's cool. And OBS we already have, um, instead of doing more of the site design, I'll do that on another stream because I think I need to, that's too big of a mental shift for me right now. But in terms of these colors and light, another thing that we need to update, if you were on the beginning of the stream or if you hang out to the end, you're gonna see these cards that I have and they do not really match what I have going on in terms of all my other images and visuals. So I'm gonna copy this. I'm actually gonna close Twitch because it's re it's named improperly. Oh, I do, I have, I have a Twitch one. This is for my Twitch panels. So actually, you know what I'm gonna do? We'll come in here. We're gonna paste the OG image just as a reference. We're gonna go back to our gallery here. Dev. Maybe we'll bring in just an overlay, just for reference as well. So, just gonna put them up here. And like I said, these these images down here are what you see. What you see on my actual stream page live coders all right and the other thing I wanted to bring in was yes out of this misnamed twitch this is actually from when I was on mixer I updated some stuff a little bit so I want to take this frame this is a image I use I think it's my Twitter background so that needs to change too but we'll just bring it in here again as reference. And then the last thing I wanna bring in would be, yeah, my stream card. Get rid of that. Cool. So these, let's move out of the way. And I think what we want to do here is we want to work on these cards. Because right now, again, they don't match any of the other stuff we have going on. And they actually happen to be, let's check it out. Prototype. I'm sorry. Yeah, 12, they're 1280 by 720. Which is actually, I think this is, are these the same size? No, these are slightly different size, but they're close enough. They're very close, they're just not as tall. So that's good for us, because I think what we can do is we can actually copy this mass group and paste it right there. Uh, okay, cool, what's up, Ryan? Um, yeah, enjoy your dinner, my friend. Thanks for hanging out in the stream, appreciate it. Um, so what I'm doing now is I'm gonna take this frame here, and actually maybe I shouldn't actually edit the original one. Let's uh, make a copy. And again, so what we did was we went here, we copied this mask group, and then we just pasted it right in. And so now it's positioned pretty much the same as it was in the OG graphic. And by OG, I mean open graph image. And that is a meta tag that you put in your blog post or whatever. And uh, Twitter and social media accounts pick up on those meta tags and will display them in line. And that's how you see like when I post on Twitter, you will see the card, it's because of that. So, so we know we now have, uh, we now have the uh, circuit board. Something else I wanna do is I wanna make sure that this background color is exactly the same. So here we have this color and let's actually go ahead and make that the background color here. Oh, sorry. Yeah, let's get rid of this radial effect. We just want it to be just a regular fill. 
regular old fill. And because we're gonna be duplicating this, and I learned my lesson in the last file we're in, I'm gonna organize this one. Is this a mass group? This is the background, so this is the circuit board. Can't spell. Cool. I'll put that down here, because that's where it belongs. And then all of this content, in my opinion, is like suspect at best. So let's just get rid of it because I don't like it. Okay. <laughs> it already looks much better in my opinion. And this like, I think I was doing too much. Like it was sort of fun to try to make these be like, uh, you know, computer science, developer, engineer themed, you run a shell script, you start a stream. That is not how I'm starting my stream. Um, a lot of manual stuff that I hope to automate in the future. But I think we should sort of stick with this stroke on this background. We have a, blah, 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 where is it? 12 pixels, okay, inside. And we can actually do that on the background as it should have been done in that image, but I'm not gonna change it. Uh, nope, we want to pick pink. We want it to be 12 pixels. Skip track. I don't know what that was, but I'm listening to a royalty-free playlist on Spotify right now, and so, you know, who knows what's gonna happen. So this might look familiar, because it is. Okay. And so what do I want on here really? Social media stuff I definitely want. So let's just copy and paste that. But here I actually, let's ungroup these things. Get rid of this frame that has nothing in it. Remove, where is that? And remove auto layout. So I'm gonna lock down the background and the circuits and I'm actually gonna group those together cause they, we're not gonna touch them probably after this. Group. I think uh, we could just componentize this actually, because if we want to do, let's prove this out. If we make a copy, this, this here is the master and this is sort of the instance. So Ryan Warner taught us that what you can do is you can actually override styles. So we can do it in a bit, but I think what I can do is I like, I can come into circuits and say, let's make you blue and they change here. Oh, it changed in that one too. There's a way to do it so that the instances don't, it shouldn't affect the master component, but let's actually worry about that in a bit. I'm getting a bit ahead of myself. Okay, background with circuits. So let's, let's do a little bit of inspiration searching here. Go to one of my favorite streamers and fellow live coders team member, uh, Noob Cat, Suze Hinton. Uh, and Suze has like some really fun animations cards. And I, I have a friend that I'm trying to, I've mentioned this a couple times, trying to get um, some of these myself um, to use. But since I don't have them right now, I wanna bring them on brand. So, so yeah, Suze has these little animations. Let's see, what does Jason have? So Jason has his um, his start screen, which I think is totally great because it latest for latest episode right here. Him and his guest. Let's see. Who else? Who else? Let's look at James quick. Okay, stream. So James has. Um, 
I like this, the James Q quick. That's cool. And I, he and I actually talked about that. He had to do the middle initial just like I did because there's too many people with our names. So bald bearded builder who's also a live coder. Oh, wow, look at that stream setup. Wow, um, has like a nice little video. And I, I like this too. He has all like his social media. And maybe I should add my YouTube to some of my branding stuff as well. Stream starting soon. Ooh, I like that idea. That's actually fun. This is, so it looks like what they have is they have an image, but the image that they put up when they start actually has a chat widget in it, which I think is really cool. I think that's fun. So I think I'm gonna steal that idea. So I'm actually gonna take a screenshot. This is another thing I learned from Ryan Warner. Um, screenshots, inspiration, whatever, just, you know, plop them right into your Figma file and then reference them later. So that's cool, I like that. Let's look at one or two more. Uh, yes. I only know her by her handle name. I don't know why. I should know her really. She also a live coder. I think it's Nina. Uh, always doing cool stuff with Python. I like her. Hers is really fun. That's like really nice design. Yeah, that's cool. Twitter, website, all it is starting soon. Nothing crazy. Let's see what Demetrius has. Demetrius has himself. Should I just put, maybe I'll just put Demetrius on my starting soon stream as well. Brian Robinson, cool. Okay, cool. I think I have an idea what we should do here. So one, I wanna make the social media bigger. Two, let's add a chat window. And we can actually do that here. So I have a chat window in the live stream overlay. Let's paste it in. And we'll move the social media stuff out of the way. Give me one second, y'all. Just need to take a little sip here. All right, I'm back. <laughs> Muted my mic. I don't want to. I don't want you to have to listen to that in case the mic picked up anything weird. So let's settle this. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, okay. That's another thing I should explain too. So I just centered this right. And I want to grow it vertically in both directions. So if I were just to pull this with up and down, works normal, normally. Undo that. If I were to hold shift when I do that, you get it locks the aspect ratio and scales in that fashion as well. However, if you want to grow in both directions, you can hold option. And then if you hold shift, it'll scale and go in both directions too. So we don't, we actually just want to hold the option so we can, uh, from the center origin point, grow what's going to be our chat box vertically in both directions. Then let's... So this would be stream. So you know what I'm going to do here? screenshot just from our stream today. Ooh. Okay. 
gonna lock you down. Gonna hide you two. We can actually, I think, get rid of, make it look a little better. Is it screen? Light in color overlay? Nope. What is it? Pass through light in screen. Hey, what's up, Horatio? Welcome. Just working on some design stuff. This doesn't really matter. I'm just trying to make it look a little bit better. Multiply, color burn, lighten. Let's just do normal, pass through, whatever it is. So this would be where the chat would go, right? Cool. And I'm not sure, but let's start with this being pink as well. Just, and then we'll try it with blue. Ah, uh, yeah, so Horatio, uh, what we're doing now is we were just working on updating my open graph image. So started with this. But there are some format, or I'm sorry, it's this one. There's some formatting issues with some of my posts that have too many tags. They spill off the end. And so we went through a couple instances. We did some iteration and we landed here. Which I think looks much better. So cool. We're going to stick with that. And then now we've switched over to sort of like bringing our Twitch stuff in line because you can see the overlay you're looking at right now. It's using this circuitry pattern. It's using these colors. So what I'm gonna do is I want this stream card I have to actually be now its own. Um, or not its own, I'm sorry. This stream card to look much more like the other assets for my brand. Okay, cool. All right, so I like this chat idea. Let's see how they did it. So yeah, they put a chat. Maybe th this is a little bit too tall. I think it takes up too much space in the layout. Okay. I think that looks much better. And then what else do we got? So they had just stream starting. That seems to be the pattern of the ones I like, so. Oh, I'm sorry, we actually have some in here. I just haven't, I hid them. So this is um, chat pane. Let's bring these back. Let's lock this down. So our, we have, we need text obviously that says starting soon or standby or whatever. We'll, we'll update that later. But I think this should be railway because that's sort of like our display font. And then we'll use the Roboto Mono for the social media stuff, which is what we're doing now. We'll just update the style. So railway, let's just type it, there it is. I think we need to make it white. And definitely bigger. So let to do. Let's make it bold. Actually like that. Auto layout. Or I'm sorry, um, yeah, that's what it's called. Auto layout, so that takes up the actual size that it Yeah, yeah, uh, Horatio, that's what I'm, I'm using basically. Um, I have basically my, just like a lot of my assets, colors, patterns, stuff like that. I don't need this because I don't use that for anything. 
Um, that actually, actually, that's something we're gonna need to update because that is what I use for Twitter. So I need to bring my Twitter banner at the top in line as well. Uh, yeah, so this is Twilio starting soon. So just stream loading starting soon. Information, oh, uh, they have some fun information as well as the chat, like last follower, latest subscriber. Let's shrink this down since it's a low res screenshot. And we're gonna just zoom in. So maybe we wanna do something like that. I do have that on my stream overlay, so. Uh, yeah, I might, I might get to that. So this will be a stream overlay. Um, and if I add the followers and stuff, that will be too. And then I think these two, I think Twitter should sit on top. Oh, this is, you know what? This is a good time to try what Ryan was showing me. So you take these two things, we're gonna make them a component and we're gonna call it social Twitter. And then we wanna take, I think we can take it out of here, yeah. Then we wanna take these two things and make this a component. But it should be an instance, social. And so there is, I forget exactly where it is, but this namespacing is important. because it allows you to do, ah, here we go. Is this it? Standby social Twitter web. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay, so you can't see it because it's on a white background. But by doing this namespacing and creating components, these components are like related things. They're both social media info. Uh, sorry, give me one sec. My project manager, as in my dog, uh, wants to leave the room. So hold on one second. Sorry about that. You know, when uh, when your project manager says, get on it, you gotta get on it. All right, so we wanna make this font bigger. I'm actually surprised. So there's a way. Oh, cool. So basically, if we wanted to, we could swap this with the web. Oh, I don't think I quite understand this. So. But I do want to increase the font here. So these components, I believe, are, they should be linked. Oh, yeah, but this is, this, they're not instances of each other. So that's why this, if this, if we had two instances of the same component, when I updated the font here, this one would update as well, but they're um, different. So that's 36, maybe we need to make this bigger. So let's take oh, 
So let's take this and this and then vertically align the centers. Okay. And then we want to do the same thing here. This is 32 by 32 and this font is 36. So 36. Two. Select both, vertical align, bring it over here. I think that this is, yeah, so this is supposed to be, let's do 24. Yeah, that actually looks pretty good. This is something where I sort of want to add. Oh. Trying to figure out why the bounding boxes of these components are not. Okay, okay. Font might be too big. Hey, what's up, Angel? How's it going? Just doing some design work here today. Um, currently working on the standby image for my stream. Just updated some open graph images. Um, mine currently look like this. And the, the orange is no longer fits with like the other content I have. So I'm bringing it back into line. And so now it looks like this. And so what we're doing here is we're actually taking a lot of the elements from this um, open graph image for my social media posts. And we're sort of like bringing that into what we're doing here in Twitch. So I had this sitting on the center line, but I think it should be actually be like a third of the way up. I think this should be under it maybe maybe that's too close but yeah hey happy birthday yeah my sister's birthday was two weeks ago and actually my wife's sister's birthday is the same day so if either of us forgets, we're both in trouble. Uh, yeah, and I, I got rid of the skewed head. I sort of like that, but I felt like I needed a change, so. So that's right in the center. Now, one thing I do want to try This is totally, I guess. Whoops. We actually need to get the little frames inside. Make these blue. What do you guys think? Do you like the do you like the blue icons or did you like here? Let's let's actually go back. Leave them white. 
copy this, paste it, and we'll come into these two. And these will be blue. Bring this over here. So what do you think? White, blue? Maybe we even try and make them pink. I mean, that might be so much pink, but I sort of like the blue, actually. It works for Twitter. That's like sort of their brand colors. Yeah, what do you guys think? You like the blue? Okay, cool. Let's, let's roll with it. So the blue. So I'm going to put that up here. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to paste it down and do another one. Because this one I want to, if we're going to stick with the blue, I want to work on this typography a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, on my stream you can see I have the Twitter icon blue and I have the Firefox logo pink. It gives a nice little, I think, consider or... I mean, we can try a couple things. So I was thinking of playing with typography, but I do like what they have going on here for the Twilio. They have this little bar on the bottom with like some information about the stream. And also maybe I should have rounded a lot of this stuff, like the chat pane, like sh that should probably have a border radius, but yeah. Ooh, I'm gonna have to go back and adjust the open graph image and my stream overlay I guess can be sharp, but Let's actually do that right now Chat pain uh, Six Cool Let's try Let's fill this blue. If I was gonna do this, I would probably wanna get rid of the pink on the bottom, but let's, let's see what this looks like. Uh, yeah, uh, Angel, I guess it's more like, I would consider it more like Sketch, if you've ever used that. So it's like, I can export PNGs, SVGs, I can build like layouts and stuff like this. And I even was able to do like a mask here that that's how you get this um, like fading of the uh, circuitry here, the fade. Um, so it can do a lot of stuff that like you do in, in Photoshop, but there are some things it can't do. And like, I'm not enough of a designer to need a lot of the functionality that the advanced users might need. So I do most of my stuff in here, um, but I do have like a Photoshop alternative on my system in case I need uh, something a little bit more that this can't do. Like maybe I wanna take, maybe I have an image of myself, I wanna remove the background and just have like my, you know, head and shoulders or something. That would probably be more something I would do in Photoshop. Um, I actually sort of just like this the way it is. Uh, instead of what I was going to do, let's try. So I'm gonna roughly position these. Ah, that's too far. Maybe that looks good. And then, what do I wanna do? No. There it is. Um. Gonna 
add auto layout to this. Oops. Let's do it to this. So we did this earlier. This allows us to more easily adjust and refine our spacing. That's too close. That's probably still too close. That's okay. That's okay. I think. Yeah, uh, Angel Figma is free, and it. I'm I'm in the desktop app right now, but it also works in the browser and does all of the same stuff, which I don't understand how you do that, but. It's, yeah, it's ins it's pretty insane. Like, it's a pretty insane program, if you think about it, and the fact that it can run just directly in your browser. I'm assuming that that means that the desktop app is probably an Electron app, um, but I'm not, I'm not certain on that. Add on a layout. Why, so why did that skew this one? Don't know why that did that, but now let's adjust the vertical spacing. So this, I think, too tight. That's obviously too big. It's gotta be somewhere. And so this is sort of something like Ryan Warner was talking to me about last week, was like the idea of you want to separate different elements with hierarchy, but certain things that are grouped together, they need to be grouped together both visually, but also like geographically in terms of the, where they are in the layout. Yeah, Angel, um, that's a good, that's actually what I did. So this was, where is it? This is what my website used to look like. And then I redid it without comps, which is why it looks the way it does now. And part of the reason that I'm working on redesigning it again. Um, and then at one point I took a stab at starting to design. Oh, is this Ivana's? Yeah, this is Ivana's actually. I was trying to redesign mine somewhere in here. Not sure where it is. Oh, and I also used it a long time ago for an app that I was just like wireframing uh, when I was learning Elixir. All right, back to it. So, still got a couple people in the chat. Anybody in the chat? Angel, any of the other folks? Anybody have a preference in terms of these two layouts? I'm starting to like this one better than this one. I still don't like how this works. And I think if we were to do that, we would want to do something more like that. Or even more like that. Twenty two. You like the bottom? Yeah, I think that's where I'm leaning to, Angel. I mean, it's simple, right? And that's what I'm looking for. So let's actually roll with this for now, because it's better than what I have. Can always iterate on it on another stream. Let's lock everything up. And this time I'm just doing standby, because right now I have a card for the end, beginning and end of my stream. Not really a point in doing that at this point for me. Maybe in the future there will be a reason to do that. Um, so keeping the language as standby, I think, uh, just covers our bases. And then in here, we actually don't need this image. That was just a placeholder. So I'm going to hide it. We'll lock this. 
And then now what we want to do is we're going to come down here. We're going to export this frame as a PNG. And I'm going to have it go into this directory. Uh, cancel. Let's do... Uh, Standby v2. <laughs> okay, and now I think we can do this because I want to add this to the stream, but I also want to show you all how I do the chat layover. Yeah, I, I agree. All right, let's 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 try this out. So I'm going to... I'm gonna actually swipe over here and let's 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 do uh, inception so you're seeing my stream labs and then on top of that you're see so you're seeing my stream labs with me streaming in it but there's a reason we're gonna do this so I'm gonna create a new scene. I'm gonna call it standby. Right now, there's nothing in it. Oh, sorry about that. Maybe we can't do this because I have to. I have to switch scenes. Let's see. I'm not sure if there's an easy way to do this. What I want to do is I want to be able to show you what's happening um, on my stream, like in Streamlabs, but when I change the scene, it changes what you're seeing. So maybe we can't do that. So I brought it over here. It's now off camera. And what I'm going to do real quickly is I'm going to add a new scene. I'm going to add an image. And so what you do is you add a new scene and then there's you can choose um, sources within the scene and click the plus button and there's one just just standard image and you just select it from your directory so this is a new one this is standby cool and so we need to pick it out of the directory it's in which we're doing done All right, so now you have a scene that you, you all should be seeing. I'm gonna pull up my own stream so you can I can see what you're seeing. So this is what the standby screen looks like right now. You see it, Angel? What do you think? I personally think it looks okay. I think there's a couple things we need to change. I think we need to change the border on the edge. Um, and I also think that we need to change the um, the brightness of the faded uh, circuitry. So let's go back to the scene where you can see me. Hi, I'm still here, are you? Cool. Let's copy and paste this. So we wanna save the other one. Let's go down to six. That was like a little bit too much for me. Maybe even eight. Cool. And then this circuitry, that was the other thing that was a little too much. And that means in my open graph image, it's probably gonna be the same way. So I think what happened is I probably tested that while I was developing and then chose 75%. So I'm gonna stick with that here and I'm actually gonna export it again. And I'm just gonna replace the one we just created. And what that should do is actually should replace it in Streamlabs. So let's let's switch scenes real quick. And I don't think it actually did. So let's. Yeah, there we go. Angel, you see that? Looks a little different. Uh yeah, I think there's there's a way to dial in the fade. So like maybe that's that's a little bit of what we need to do right now. So let's let's come back to the stream where people can see each other. Oh cool. Thanks, James. Appreciate it. Um so this is our fade. So basically what it's doing is fading from pink to um transparent. 
but we can actually add another point on here and control how the fade works. So like if we want a real dramatic fall off, we could bring this here. But if we want a more graduated one, we can actually bring this, this point somewhere else. So yeah, cause I want it to disappear. Maybe what we do is we actually undo all of those. And instead, oh yeah, what I'm trying to do here is, I do think this needs to be 75. It might even be too bright. Let's double check that. Yeah, too bright. So I think it needs to actually come down. So let's do Sorry. It's this one. Oh, it's not that one. It's... Yeah, this one. Okay. Aha. And we can actually, to get the fade, we can actually reduce the fade just by bringing this endpoint in. Actually, I just want to do it this way. So let's try this. All right, let's check it out now. Does that look any different? It doesn't look different to me, does it? Maybe it does. Does it look different to you guys? It's hard to tell because it like my monitor over here has one color profile, I guess, and then I have a retina screen on my MacBook, so of course that that always makes it hard. <laughs> it doesn't look different to you at all? Okay. All right, let's see how this looks. Maybe I need to update the path. Does that look different to you there, Angel? Yeah, I think it's different. I think we still need to, I think the border on the edge, like it works for the open graph image on social media, but I think it's too way too big. And also, uh, yeah, Angel, I joined you in the Linux club. Uh, I put Fedora on my 2015 MacBook Pro. I've been playing around with it in my free time. It's been fun. I'm pretty close to getting my work dev environment set up because we use Docker. So my plan was I want to try out, see how much better the experience is running Docker natively on, or just like straight through the CLI on Linux. Because my understanding is that when you run it on a Mac uh, or Windows, there's a process in the background that's syncing your file system to the whatever file system is in the Linux containers that you have running. But when you're running it on Linux, that you don't have to have that process and that actually increases the like performance, which is cool. That's my understanding. I'm not a Docker guy, but. 
So I think I already did this, but let's just do it one more time. Okay, now let's double check it. I think that looks much better. But I, now I'm missing, you know what? I think now I'm missing some of the, I'm missing some of the circuitry. So let's, let's, touch, let's touch that up again. Bring it more like there. Okay. So this is a nice, fun process of trial and error. All right, here we go. What about that? Can you see that, Angel? I just updated it one more time. I think that looks pretty good. Maybe I should move all of the text down a little bit. I don't know. I'm thinking something sort of like, what if we took this and the social? And we just did something like that. That might look weird. But maybe not. I don't know. What do you think, Angel? I sort of like it on the bottom, actually. Maybe the stand, but maybe in this iteration, the standby actually does sit closer. Sorry, I don't know what I'm listening to because this, like I said, this is a mix on Spotify of royalty-free music. So if you hear me jamming along, I don't really know what it is. Let's try that. I like that. I think a big part of this like journey for me in terms of trying to be a better designer than I currently am it's just like when I was new to engineering, it's like I got to sort of trust my instincts every once and again and know that I'm going in the right direction. Um, you know, like I like this better than this, but I'm not sure why. Like it feels more balanced to me, but I can't really say much more. My right, your left, the one with the text at the bottom. So you like this one? That's. I think that's what I'm going to go with. I think we just updated that. Let's check it out. Yeah, how's that look, Angel? I mean, I guess with all this room up in the top now, I could put my face. I don't know if I want to do that. <laughs> Let's see. Um, so I think one thing that needed to happen was the fade, I think, was need it to be like halfway between what we had now and before. And maybe bring this down a tad. Maybe this should be, instead of extra bold, just bold. Actually, I, I like the extra bold. Okay. Let's try this. And then after this, I'll try with my face on it. And whichever one looks better will be the one that I use. Does it? Okay, yeah, I can, like, I'm, I have my monitor here, like, what y'all are above, essentially, uh, that is scaled to 720p, so that on the stream you can see more easily, and then my MacBook over here has, like, a really high resolution, so I have the chat scaled up, but the actual Streamlabs interface isn't. All right. So I do think that the font is, in Figma, I like it as extra bold, but I'm gonna drop it to, to bold. Maybe even semi-bold. It's like so prominent. Yeah, let's try that. 
And then let's actually take, where's my mug? There's my mug. Let's take this. Uh, actually, I think there are ways to like do stuff like that. I don't think you can do like, it's like, what was that app called way back in the day? I think it was like in Dreamweaver days, it was either, either Dreamweaver or Adobe Fireworks, excuse me, where you could design stuff like this and it would spit out HTML and CSS. I think you can work with CSS in Figma and potentially even say like, export like a set of rules for an element, but I'm not 100% sure. Ryan Warner Codes, um, who's in and out of the chat, he would be the best person to ask. Yeah, there's, Adobe had like all the, like all these weird programs and they still, their suite is very much like an offering of programs they bought from other people, it feels like. So sometimes they don't feel like too unified in my opinion, but. Angel, what do you think? Do you like it with my face on I, I think there's too much empty space without my face personally i you know i could i could take it or leave it with putting myself on it but um until i have some more design assets from my friend i can't really do much more than 200 oh the old one's still up Oh, sorry. Oh man, I forgot to bring you back. Sorry about that. I've been over here like, how do you like this? Let's try it out. Yeah, I think it I think it fills the space nicely. I wonder if everything's like so nitro pink. But Okay. I think I'm just going to make my face a little bit bigger. And it's not for vanity reasons, it's for Space reasons. Okay. Cool. All right. Now I'm gonna. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the, st the Streamlabs chat overlay which you won't be able to see, but I'll sort of explain to you what I'm doing. Essentially, I have a 232 by 517 pixel box. So I can add a layer here to my standby scene. Call it chat box. It's called chat box. It's somewhere in here. Alert box, stream chat, or is it? Chat box, yeah. So this is gonna be 232 by 517. 232, 517. Yeah, okay. And so Angel, if you type something in the chat, you should see it come up now. Uh, James, it's from my last job. Now 
So do you all see that now on the, you see the chat overlay on the um, standby card? Cool. Dope. Just gonna reposition it a little bit. Oh, nice, great. Okay, awesome. So now, now I have like a proper end of the stream scene. And I think to me, that seems like the best place to maybe stop a stream would be when we come up with a cool card to use at the end instead of the ones I've been using, which I'm now gonna remove. I'm sorry, I'll do that off, off stream. I keep forgetting to show you that. Um, so thanks again for hanging out. I know it's Friday as usual. So people are starting the weekend. Appreciate you hanging on the chat, giving feedback um, as per usual. Uh, this is me, as you've seen this whole stream. And here's me on Twitter and me on the web. I do have more hooks articles coming. I've been taking a break from that a little bit, but I do have uh, a use callback article coming. And then after that, I'm gonna do an article on custom hooks. And there's two other ones that are in the documentation. They're very esoteric as far, I've never seen them in a code base anywhere. So I'm debating whether or not I want to cover them. It might be worth it for uh, comprehensiveness, but it might also not be worth it because people don't use them. Um, oh, James, the incentive to come back is that I have to implement all this stuff. I have to redesign the site. That's a completely another stream. I'm going to have to work on the design. Then I'm going to have to start building that. I also have a React live stream package that needs to have the Twitch authentication updated. So I need to implement some serverless functions. I'm planning on getting back to my Fauna powered meetup clone that I'm considering using Redwood for. I mean, there's a lot of stuff coming. I just don't have the bandwidth right now, but uh, we will get there. Yeah. Oh, I take you seriously all the time. But yeah, so with that, thank you all for coming. Again, I'm Ryan Harris. This is Ryan Harris Streams. Um, have a good weekend. Stay safe. Take care of each other. And I'll see you next time. Peace.